So the first thing we want to build is the image gallery slider at the top. And we can do that by clicking on customize. All right, and now we're going to click header area and we're going to click header type. And we want to make sure that the front page header type, our front page is the home page, is full screen slider. And site header type, which is the rest of the pages, can be image or whatever we want. All right, so make sure those settings are there and then go back. Now we're going to click header slider and we're going to upload an image for our first slide. All right, so how do we upload an image? Well, if you want to get the images from the Sydney demo, then you can right click anywhere on the slider, hit inspect. We're in Google Chrome, by the way, which makes this all really easy. Then you just need to scroll up until you see the div classes slider container, which are basically the slides in HTML form. And what you'll need to do is find the images inside them, which is a little tricky. Like the first one I can see is right here, background image URL, MK0. So you're going to want to double click on top of this area where my mouse is now. And then you're going to want to double click again on the HTTP part. Get it so you have a cursor and then you can just highlight the HTTPS all the way through the whole image up until the JPG. Then you're going to want to right click copy it, open a new browser tab and paste it in. And that's basically how you get an image from somewhere on the web. Just hit enter and there's that original background image. Now we can right click, we can save image as, and you can call it like one they've called it, you'd call this like Sydney slider one and save it. All right, then we can go back to our customize window and we can select image, select files. So this will basically look for an image on our computer and it'll find the Sydney slider one we just got and then we'll select it and click open. Once the image uploads, just click choose image. And now we'll have our very first slider and with the image in there, the text pops in beautifully. So now that we know how to use an image from the Sydney demo, let's also learn how to get an image from Pixabay, which is where I like getting images from around the world. That's pixabay.com with an X. Once you're on Pixabay, you can see there's tons of free striking images that you might want to choose. All right, so I like this one right here. This is really cool. You can click on the categories too and choose different images from people or different images from urban. This is actually a Sydney image right here. That's pretty cool. You can see maybe Sydney got their images from Pixabay, who knows. All right, so I think it'd be really cool to have an image of Sydney itself in here. So let's look up Sydney. And there we can see we have a lot to choose from. I'm going to go with a darker background image because our text is white. All right, I think this image should do right here. It's super cool. I like how the grays interact. It's kind of like a morning shot, which you don't see often. And we're going to hit that free download to get the image. Choose your size. So 1920 is a perfect size and we can download it. And you can also sign up for free or just choose I'm not a robot and hit the free download. All right, just rename it. Sydney slider two and save. Okay, so change my mind. I actually want to get this image, which has the Sydney Bridge. Super cool. Everyone needs smart fireworks in their lives. So download, not a robot, and download. Save it. And then just to mix it up, because we need some people pictures here, let's try searching for a couple. And we want like a really enchanting image that makes people click into our website. And that's going to be just something that looks like there is like a little bit of mystery uh, you know really the images do make a big difference guys like if you pick an image that is just kind of awkward to look at it might get clicks but it's more likely if you pick a mysterious image or just you know generally decent looking folks they don't have to be good looking but just cool looking usually works and ooh, that's cool yeah that's super super cool you wonder like what these two are doing in front of that lake is it a proposal is it a breakup we're not sure all right, so let's click free download, download image. All right, I'm not a robot. Download, that should do it. Okay, now that we have our slider images downloaded, 
back to WordPress we go. Let's scroll down to second slide and select image. Upload files, select files. And we can get all of our Sydney sliders like the Opera House and the Bridge and the Couple just in case we want to swap them in and out. All right, very good. Let's choose our fireworks for the second one. Choose image. And now for the third slide, select image, let's choose the couple. Choose image, and because there's a fourth option, let's make that one like the morning at the opera house, the morning after someone blogged and then saw fireworks and then got engaged and now they're at the opera house. So choose image, and perfect. Now we just need some text to basically explain the images, but doesn't necessarily have to explain it, more just like something relatable that people can get behind. And it can just be one word. So for the first one, instead of click the pencil to change, I'm just gonna say create. And get rid of that subtitle. And then write something the world will love. Now I'm gonna scroll down to the fireworks and write amaze with your adventures. Down below I'm gonna write love, of course everything you do and then below that I'm gonna write share knowledge with your community and publish so now feels like a good time to change our button text to and you can actually just click on the button arrow here and it'll take you to the right section which is the call to action button so let's replace click to begin with get started all right there's also a slider mobile behavior option not totally sure what that'll do, but we always want our site to be responsive. All right, that does it for our header slider area here. We're gonna go back and we're all done in the header area. So let's hit publish one more time. And now let's X out. It should take us to our homepage. And we can see we have this cool slider. Everything's gonna move on its own. Awesome.